Well, this is my um, little invention. It's called Bucket O'Bill. I was going to call it the Veganator, but um, decided against that one just in case. People are a bit precious these days. Um, so yeah, what it is, uh, it was an idea that I want biltong or jerky while I'm on the road, but don't want to take up a lot of space and didn't want to, still wanted a bucket I could use for everyday things. So I originally had a bucket for our, cause we use a bucket exactly like this for our washing and even empty it smells like washing powder. So that idea to go with one bucket was cancelled and so this bucket I'll be able to use for fresh water, whatever else, food stuff. But yeah, it's um, it's pretty basic. It's just a, I think it's about a 20 litre bucket. Um, I've already pre-drilled all my holes uh, and stuff like that. So all we have is a bucket, 12 volt computer fan, and that goes on top of my bucket. You can either have it suck or blow. Um, this one, that was the way it's set up with the mounting point. I've got it so it'll pull air out of the bucket, but so I can get air down to the bottom of the bucket because if I just drilled a hole on the top like that and left that open with some mesh, uh, air will just flow in and then back out. But you want air to come from the bottom of the bucket and draw its way up. Um, saves me having to drill holes in the bottom of a bucket and totally wrecking a bucket if I want it for other things. So the whole concept would just be a lid with a couple of fittings on it and a fan that I can just store anywhere. Yeah, so for the inlet pipe, I've drilled a few holes and got the outside pipe just because I found when I sat the lid down and plugged it in just with the fitting out through the top, um, it was struggling to, it would work the fan a little bit hard uh, because it's a long pipe, it's got a draw down and it's only a fan meant to cool down a computer. So yeah, I just put a bit of pipe on there with a heap more holes just to give it a bit of breathing space uh, so I don't cook the motor on this. Uh, so the tools are pretty bracy, it's just what I had on me. Uh, I couldn't find my hacksaw but I found a hacksaw blade. So just a hacksaw blade to cut up the PVC pipe, screwdriver, any sort of pair of pliers, a couple of drill bits, a drill, uh, and a marking pen to mark some holes. Sweet, and the fitting that uh, just drilled a hole here, and to hold that on, just screw this fitting in here. Just a couple of basic irrigation fittings, and a bit of pipe. Just slides in there like that. Doesn't have to be too fancy, you don't have to glue it in if you don't want to. And on the top here, you've got a bit of stocking, you could use a bit of fly screen, whatever you want. Um, and I just taped it on like that just to keep any bugs or anything from going down. Uh, bugs shouldn't do that because it's, the air's blowing up, but just in case the power cuts out or whatever. And this one here, because it's the suction going into the bucket, definitely have some sort of mesh on that. And that just tightens up. And that's basically... Fuck, it's hot. Um, it's basically good to go. And then that, bucket of bill goes like that. Done. And then you just put your meat in hooks. They go through like that and just sit in there. And these things here, um, not too sure if they're gonna be the uh, the best solution at the moment, but that's what I've got at the moment. That's all I can work with. And they will sit like that. 
Uh, for a bucket this size, uh, I reckon only, I've made eight hooks, but I think um, half a dozen will be fine. Mm -hmm. And for the computer fan, I've just used a 12 volt connector. Um, and this is any old fan you can get out of anywhere. So the main thing you've got to be wary of when you're hanging your meat is that the pieces of meat don't hit each other. Um, if they hit each other, um, it just can, can contaminate the meat in a certain way that it doesn't dry out to the edges. So you want each piece to hang individually and not touch the side of the bucket or each piece of meat. Um, so after about a day and a half to two days, depending on how hot or cold or whatever the air is, um, the meat will sort of um, lose its moisture on the outside, start to dry out and could probably hit each other as you're traveling. It's not too, too much of a drama. And then you just connect it like that Turn the old Milwaukee 2.0. Fucking cockies. But I've mainly designed this bucket so I can take it with me on the road, anywhere. It's um, once it's running and the meat's in there with this little battery thing, you can get any sort of 12 volt supply. Um, you can take it mobile. So that's my whole theory. I've got a big dehydrator at home which I use for, I can do five to seven kilos worth of jerky at a time, but um, this is one I can take on the road with me all the time, and because I like meat. I've got some silver side, I think, inside. Um, it's only like a kilo or whatever, so I'll cut that up. Uh, show you how to marinate that, real simple. Uh, there's just four ingredients uh, for the basic traditional biltong. And um, yeah, we'll marinate that. That'll probably take the rest of the arvo and then start drying it tonight. Cover that uh, and put it back in the fridge uh, for an hour or two. Just let everything um, soak in a little bit and do its thing. And then we'll go and do phase three. Yeah. Cheers. Oh God, no, just kidding. you're disgusting. <laughs> So yeah, it looks like that. It's uh, still a little bit moist, but a lot of the spice is gonna hold on there. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure nothing's touching. Let's pivot them around. That's pretty good. Nothing's touching. And you put the old bucket down. Place the old bucket of bill wherever you like. Plug him in. Yeah, it's gonna wait like five days. <laughs> 
So this is uh, end of day four. Uh, yeah, I think I think I've done one too many days. Um, so it's still running. Just disconnect it. Um, I ran out of. Uh, Milwaukee batteries, so um, I had to plug into the van yesterday uh, because Kel had taken the car away, which has the Milwaukee battery charger in it, and I was out of batteries, so it did four batteries in three days, which is pretty good. This is the big reveal. Look at that, looks good. Looks pretty bloody good. And yeah, you get a bit of um, seasoning in that come off the bottom of the bucket there. But yeah, this is probably a little dry. Uh, not too bad though. But yeah, it's probably borderline jerky. <laughs> so anyway, I'll take it off the hooks and, um, and go cut a bit up and have a taste. So yeah, it's um, it's pretty hard. So I'll have to cut it pretty thin. I'm guessing this is not going to be like a super soft biltong. Um, we've had like 40 degree days here the last few days. So yeah, uh, it dried out a little bit quicker than expected.